This gives new meaning to the term drawing blood. At number nine, artist Ted Lawson has hacked a machine to produce a self-portrait, printed in blood. Ted has literally put his blood into his artwork. That is intense. Forget duck faces and throw away your selfie stick. Ted is taking the selfie to a whole new level. I can't imagine Kim Kardashian doing this. Ugh. We went to Brooklyn to see his bleeding edge technique firsthand. I personally am not a big fan of self of doing self portraits and certainly not getting nude for a self portrait. The idea was too interesting to pass it up and I hacked together this Russian ink device and I realized that I could actually hook the machine up directly to my own blood supply. Talk about blood, sweat and tears. How has Ted created this incredible printer? To make his picture, Ted first took a photograph of himself and then used the computer to process that photograph into a series of geometric shapes that can be line drawn. He can then take that and he can put it into a CNC machine, basically computer numeric control, and then the machine knows the exact brush strokes that it needs to make to create his final drawing. Ted may have turned himself into a fountain pen, but is losing this much blood safe? The average man has about 12 pints or 6 litres of blood in his body. And even though this piece of art is very large, the total amount of blood being used is not all that much. While making one picture, Ted estimates that he uses less than a pint or less than half a litre of blood. So Ted is fine. But does blood make a good ink? The first challenge that Ted needs to meet is the tendency of his blood to clot up. The reason your blood does that is because it's trying to stop the hemorrhaging. One way of getting around this is to make sure the blood keeps moving and that you've got a big enough needle for it to comfortably flow through. What's very interesting is that Ted has found that no two pictures are alike. The quality and consistency of his own blood changes over the course of the day. Which meant that he had to be constantly adjusting his machine to get the right kind of blood flow for the effect that he was after. Your blood changes a lot throughout the day. Sometimes it comes out too light or too faint or it's too thin and you'll have to go back and work on those lines. With a constantly replenishing supply of ink, Ted offers to create another portrait. Oh my god, Ted made a portrait of me! That's incredible! Yes, Debbie, it is incredible. Our very own Mona Lisa, in blood.